and hello and today I am here reviewing Between the Sea and Sky by Jacqueline Dullimore okay so this book is not very big it is about 225 pages However, this was amazing. If you like stories about how people meet as kids and then they end up falling in love, this is a really good book. If you like mermaid books, this is a really good book. And let me tell you, this is very, very original. Usually you either get mermaids that are based off of The Little Mermaid, which basically means that they're in excruciating pain when they walk on land or they just simply change their legs into a tail. Or you get the darker side which is sirens, the old sea tales that women would sing and cause boats to crash and they would drown men. So you usually get one or the other. You usually don't get both. And this is based off of a little bit of both. It's about a mermaid and she wants to become a siren. Now a siren is not a different type of mermaid or anything like that. It's basically a job. And they do protect the waters and they do wreck ships and drown people. Well, drown men. But they don't, they just do it to keep the ocean safe. They don't necessarily do it. They're basically like a little nation and kind of how we would defend ourselves if somebody attacked us that's basically what they do if things don't you know anyway that's what so she wants to become a siren and I really really like how this book is like pretty much like about the power of women because if you really think about it usually men have the jobs of protecting the community but in this it's the women sirens are the protectors they're the soldiers and she wants to become a siren and she does but her sister is also a siren and she ends up going on land so it's about her trying to go on land to find her sister and through it she f forms up with a guy that she knew as a child and they basically have issues that's what drives the book is their relationship and it's very very interesting and it's interesting how the magic of this book unfolds I really really enjoyed it I give it five out of five stars because it integrates both of those mermaid myths and I really really enjoyed that because a lot of times we don't see the siren side of the myth because everybody likes the flowery prettier version of the little mermaid and she incorporated it but at the same time like she made the character seem really really gentle and that took a lot of um, talent and ingenuity I think so this was a fabulous book I really really enjoyed it if you've read it let me know and if you are gonna pick it up let me know and tell me what you think about it oh and look at this cover might I just say look at the cover that is seriously one of the prettiest covers I've ever seen on a book. It's a very attractive cover. And let me tell you who is the publisher because usually they're the ones that's responsible for the cover. So I think that in this case they need some Bloomsbury. Um, Bloomsbury books for young readers. So... It was published in 2011, so it's not really, really old, but it was a fabulous book. I absolutely loved it. I highly recommend it for a summer read, especially if you're like a young adult, because this is a young adult book, but it's very, very good. <laughs> it's very, very good. And my next review, I'm not sure what it's going to be on. I have like 10 books that I need to read so I'm not sure what it's going to be on right now but like comment and subscribe and tell me what you're reading this summer 
and I will see you soon.